Okay. Okay, I'm going to um, show you where I um, host some of my um, websites. I have um, several websites I host um, on my own domain. Um, but um, I actually um, got um, the WordPress Direct, um, and I'm actually a gold member. Um, um, I got this last year, and I really, I haven't used it very much, and I just started um, going back in and looking at it, and I'm really, you know, kind of kicking myself because it's so easy, and I've been doing all this self-web hosting myself and doing all this extra work that it's it's really not necessary. This is so easy to do, and um, I could have put up, you know, like a hundred new sites in like no time, but instead I like to do things the hard way. Um, but anyway, um, I recently um, decided that I'm actually going to use <laughs> the service that uh, I have, and um, and I'm really glad because I've set up a couple of new sites really quickly and easily, and um, I don't know why I didn't do it more often, but I'm going to. So, and I'm going to show you how to do it, so you can do it too. Um, so this is the uh, WordPress Direct and site, and um, I'm going to log on and um, take you into the back end so you can see um, how easy it is to actually set up one of these uh, sites. Okay, so um, here we are inside the um, members dashboard of um, my uh, WordPress Direct account and um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a new um, blog. Um, I have three um, blogs that I have active in my account now and um, I'm going to add a new one. So to add a new one, um, you just click on the install new button. And it's really, really simple. Okay, and I'll, I'll bring this over here. Um, okay, so um, you go in and um, you pick a theme that you think will um, match your uh, topic and if you uh, don't see any here you can click through them and then look but if you can't find anything right off the bat that you like you can type in um, I'll put in um, relationship let's see if I get anything no uh, maybe I'll put love or something like that and see you know we got dog love let's see they have um, just hundreds of them uh, this one looks kind of nice with the little heart and there's some red. Love log. Um, that's kind of nice. Okay, well, um, but there are quite a few to choose from. I'm going to just go with the first one that caught my eye here. And um, you want one that's um, widget ready um, because you're going to be putting the ad in your sidebar. So. Um, you want that to be simple, but I'm going to pick this one because it uh, looks good to me. So um, just install this site. Okay, well, uh, as far as I can tell, um, I only get um, three um, uh, hosted um, domain names on uh, with the gold membership, and I've already used up my three. And then, if I want to create any more sites, they have to be self-hosted. So, um, WordPress Direct will host the first three for free, and then um, you can use the service to install um, the new sites uh, with the Gold Package. You can install up to a hundred, I believe, um, on your own domain, um, uh, and three of which they will host. Um, they will host for free on their site if you'd like. Um, but actually, it probably is better to um, host it on your own domain, and I do have several other blogs that I host on, on my own domain and several different domains, and um, I think they do better in the rankings, um, but, you know, I was trying to go for the freebie route and not have to buy a new domain, and, you know, they're, they're not that expensive, but I just, for the purposes of this tutorial and the um, case study, I wanted to make it totally free, um, and WordPress Direct is totally free. Um, to try out and you can set up um, the websites. Um, and, but I've already used up my three, so I can't show you exactly how I do it with the um, with the uh, free hosting version. Um, but what happens is, is there would be another option here um, to pick one of their domain names 
and make a subdomain. So it would have your keyword phrase dot um, whatever phrase that you choose that would be kind of compatible. They have several to choose from and at their domains it would be uh, I think the one domain that I've used before is brighterplanet.org so it would be um, you know your keyword phrase dot brighterplanet.org and uh, but um, I can't show you that option because I've already used it all up. I could actually sign up for a new account to show you but I'm not going to bother. You can do that yourself. So um, but anyway um, basically, you would type in, um, and um, your keyword phrase, and the way you want it. And you know, you might want to, um, you might want to put dashes in. Um, in some cases, if you if you pick a, a different kind of domain uh, to make it more readable, uh, but in this specific case, I'm going to leave it all one word because that is exactly. Um, how the uh, keyword phrase that um, was searched for is is typed in, and I, I want it to um, rank well for that exact phrase, so I'm not going to mess with it. And um, so, um, what you would do is you would just, you know, the, the box would be here to pick a, a, a domain, a subdomain, or make this a subdomain of one of their free domains for you to use, and um, then um, this wouldn't be here. And um, and you can actually um, host this on your site. You can use uh, some of their suggestions of HostGator, and then these are all cPanel, um, which is a type of um, host that has uh, the software that helps the, them install the WordPress blog directly. And um, it has to be cPanel so that they can access, you know, your back end. So you, um, if you want to do it, if you want to host it, on your own site, you can do it like that. And I'd have to go buy an, another domain name and set it up for you to do that, or I can, I can just do it manually, like I know how to do, um, on my other site, um, in, on a regular subdomain of my my main site, which I think I'll do just for the testing purposes. Darn, I wish I could show you that, but I can't. So you'll have to check it out yourself. And then what you would do is, um, so. So this part wouldn't be here. You just pick uh, one of their free hosting subdomains. Okay, so you would type in the um, your main keyword phrase here and type that in there for the uh, main um, title of your website. And then you would do the same thing for the, the slogan of your website. And then um, you could um, put in your own email address here or you can actually um, Go get a, a separate Gmail or Yahoo account specifically for um, this um, new site with the, the keyword phrase in it, so you can kind of keep things, you know, um, organized with your system. I usually create a new Gmail account for every uh, blog I make, just so I can keep track of, you know, what what is what. So, um, and I haven't done that. So maybe I'd uh, just go magic of making up one two three at Gmail. I haven't checked to see, to see if that was ready or available or not, but um, I may just come back and do that later. Um, so um, then you put the email there, and then you um, put in a, a password, you know, whatever, um, you know, make it something more imaginative than that. And then um, what you also want to do is you want to um, put some additional keyword phrases um, into your new site um, so that um, you know you have some other options for ranking for some other words and um, here's some that I deciding to use um, the magic of making up all one word and then magic of making up review magic of making up system magic of making up and how to get your ex back I thought um, those were all they, they didn't have a lot of search um, I usually like to go with a little bit more but um, just for the purposes of this test, I thought that would be fine. And um, um, so um, you can um, copy that, and you want to make sure that you know your main your main keyword phrase is the first one. And uh, four is usually fine. I don't think they want you to do more than five, um, but um, you know four is fine and five five is okay. But I, I think more than that is um, overkill. You